So Eric Sermon, he was the reason why, you know, Diddy was beating me. So, yeah, that's crazy, man. I didn't know that, man. And she was talking to Suge Knight at one point, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we had just got through, I think um, we were looking for Kim. And Kim wasn't home. So if Kim not home, we don't go home. So we jump into club after club after club until Diddy finds her. So then he'll have the babysit call her and find out where she at or whatever, this, that, and the third. And then we would have to go to the club that she at. And he wasn't even, well, he never stopped dating Kim. No, I don't care who he, who he was with. It could have been with J-Lo. It could have been with whoever. He never stopped dating Kim. He was, Kim couldn't date or be with nobody. She just couldn't. So now, this damn wolf, he, I guess he was holding this magazine in his pocket or whatever, and it wasn't, it, it was like a, like a brochure or something like that, but it was death row. And it was Suge Knight with Misa. Now, when I told this story, nobody believed that, because you know, they don't believe shit I say until it comes out in pictures or videos. It had Suge Knight next to Misa. Suge had the baby in, I mean, Misa had Justin in her arms and Suge Knight was just like holding Misa, I think like this, holding Misa. It was a friendly picture, but on the bottom capture of it, it said, what the East Coast won't take care of, the West Coast will. Yo, Wolf showed that to Puff. You could see veins coming through his forehead, through his neck and everything. He blew a stack. It was crazy. So, Misha was everything but a child of God. But you got to realize, Puff wasn't giving her the money that she needed to take care of Justin properly and her for her living and whatever. So now, um, years later, fast forward, we see Suge with the same thing he had on in that magazine on the floor. Somebody released some pictures of him and Justin. He playing with Justin on the floor like he Papa Suge. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, he wasn't going to put his hand on Misa. Nah, he wasn't going to do that because Misa would have definitely, she would have definitely at that time had him dealt with. Just out of curiosity, right? Why do you think Misa came out with that statement knowing that Diddy is going through everything he's going through right now? I think it had, I, I, I can't speak for her, but if I'm, I'm looking at it is that, you know, she want people to be, have sympathy for the kids. You got to understand, she's, and she said that. It's like, you know, she's the only mother now, other than Sarah. And Sarah was Kim's best friend, but she's closer, you know, to Quincy, because Quincy used to, and Justin them used to go to each other's house. You know what I mean? Justin used to go to uh, uh, Kim's house, and, and Quincy used to hang out with Justin, you know? So they grew up like brothers like that. It's funny, man. You got to realize Kim was Misa friend. Then she goes and have a baby uh, by Puff. And Sarah was Kim's friend. And she goes to have a baby by Puff. So it's all in the family. So... Misa is looking for the best interest of the boys and the kids. And I guess as a mother, you know, and they, they grown now, you know, they, they, they in their twenties now, except for the two youngest girls, she'll be, she'll try to be the best example she could for them. Cause they, they still need a mother like person in their life. 